What's up, you guys? So I am here today with Josiah's World TV, and we're here to get into the, the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. But, but first, before we do that, at first, I want to say what's up, Josiah. What's up? What do you think of these reunion outfits? Before we even start the trailer, what do you think of these reunion outfits? Man, I'm going to have to be very honest, um, very un <laughs> underwhelming. Like, I don't like them. <laughs> um, the only person, gosh, I mean, only dress that I really care for is Monique. Yes. Look, Monique be slaying in real life. <laughs> yes. And it's our fashion. Monique be slaying. <laughs> and normally. And, well, I know she said one of her best friends, Riley Knox, made the dress. So shout out to Riley. Okay. Because yellow is a hard color to work with. It's a really hard color to work with, but she did her thing. So Monique does look good to me. I like Monique's dress. I don't like the overlay, the lace overlay on Karen's dress. I don't like that. I was just about to say that, yeah. It looks like Ashley's dress has some type of like, you know how you see like a stained glass window? Like when people break glass and put it back together. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's not working for Ashley. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. Giselle's dress is not um, that thing on the hip. If if Candace's dress didn't have that big bow, then it might be okay. But I'm not into the big bowls. Yeah. Wendy's, Wendy's dress is okay. It's, it's kind of cute, but it gives me prom. Or, yeah, it gives you know, me like, uh, yeah, it gives me like Nigerian prom. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> which Nigerian is good. Prom. Which is good. That's good. Uh, okay, I never seen yeah. a Nigerian prom. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nigerian party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like that's shade for some reason. You saying it's good, but I feel like it's shade. <laughs> no, it's no shade. No shade. No, no shade. shade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and then we have um, Robin's dress. Um, it reminds me of Sheree's dress, just a yellow version of the season ten Housewives reunion. Yeah, of Atlanta. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's a no for me. Right. Nikki said, I felt the same way. Monique Slay, the rest is trash. Yeah, it was a hard color to work with. Next time on the Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion. We have broken each other this year. Talk to God, do whatever you have to do to get this right. This is a new beginning if we are willing to pull together. So Charlie, you're the most famous bird in America. What does it feel like? If I go to the African market, they're like, get the goats. Get the goats? Yes. I am obsessed with your clothing. Your taste sucks. But it's been very therapeutic in quarantine. She's back like this for Karen. Her Geritol just kicked in. Did anyone bring any receipts? Oh my God, Monique has a binder. The thirst book. Karen from day one was trying to get you kicked off the show. An old clip has resurfaced of Michael and it's damn it. They had sex. Your pastor boyfriend is swinging his big D all around Atlanta. I got him in my little seat book. Can we get some water? This is about to be intense. She's been accused of plotting against her family. Yes! If we don't get to own enough of this, it's gonna be some real mess up on the stage. Get the f out of here! Please let me handle this. Chris, sit down. Candace provokes fight. Words are weapons. If you cared, you would not be writing this mess. What was your emotional reaction after you saw the footage? I said, okay, well, if I'm fired, I'm gonna go finish her off. I need a break. Hurt people, hurt people. Go get some help. We have got to stop tearing each other apart. All right. <laughs> Ooh, child. Chile, Chile. <laughs> Listen, the first thing what I saw was Monique in that big old book, scrapbook binder that she has in her lap. Lord, I, Lord, said, okay. Lord. I said, oh, she got, she said she got receipts. I said, but not the whole Bible receipts, sis. <laughs> now, I do feel like that is for a little bit stunts. She might have a few little receipts, but I think the it's stunts and shows. Yeah. It's stunts, stunts and shows. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. stunts and shows. Because I heard it's not much in that binder. It's not much in that binder <laughs> from what I heard. It's, it's really not. So one of the first things we heard in the trailer is Karen telling Giselle that I see your Geritol finally kicked in. Which to me is, it's like they're in the same age range. It's age shame and Geritol is some type of um, supplement for older people. And um, 
Giselle is an older woman. She's in her 50s and Karen is in her 50s. So I feel like that age shaming is just, it's, it's inappropriate. It's not cute, especially when you're in the same age range. Yes, I, I could not believe when she met Giselle made that comment. How this tasteful. I mean, you are the, you and Robin are both the elders. You, Robin and Karen are the elders of the show and they I yeah. feel like that they should set a better example for the younger women and because age shaming is a no-no you don't age shame anyone right because Monique is in her 30s Ashley is in her 30s Candace is in her 30s and Wendy's in her 30s people thought Wendy right. was older too but if you look at Wendy and her kids and her her lifestyle she she I believe she said she's like 38 she's in her 30s too so yes technically these three are the eldest and so for them to age shame each other to me it's kind of like maybe it's a personal insecurity like maybe Giselle is insecure about her own age so she tries to age shame Karen and Robin is a hard 40, according to... Uh, oh, not a hard 40. Robin is a hard 40. No, according to uh, Karen, that's what she said on the Wendy Williams show, shading Robin, but she deserved it, though, because she stayed coming for uh, Karen's age. She did. She did. And it's, it's, it's really like despicable. But something else I heard Giselle mention, I heard Giselle mention that it sounded like she was telling Wendy that Karen wanted her off the show as soon as she got on the show. That behind the scenes, Karen wanted her off the show. Hmm. Now, in my opinion on that situation, I do believe it could be possibly true because I feel like that Karen and um, J Karen and Wendy had issues beginning of the show. And you can tell that Karen just did not was not here for Wendy at all. Mm -hmm. So I could I could definitely see that. But Giselle being the manipulative one that she is mm -hmm. she could be stretching out the truth or being extra. So right. you don't know what to believe. Right. Like Nikki said, Giselle is so messy to be an ex-pastor's wife. Like I couldn't imagine her as my pastor's wife. Like I could just not mm -hmm. imagine. My pastor's wives have always been like motherly. You know what I'm saying? And I don't get anything motherly and loving from Giselle. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. Absolutely not. I don't. No. I don't. So let's let's talk about Monique and let's talk about the rumors and let's talk about the situation, the altercation with Candace. Okay. I feel like that I was giving Monique the side eye beginning of the season because I'm just like, you taking all your frustrations off on Candace um, when it could should be going to your friend, you know? So mm -hmm. I feel like that that was unfair in Candace's defense because I, listen, I don't really care for Candace. Candace is not my favorite. I feel like that she talks too much. But in that instance, Monique was wrong. I do think Monique was wrong. I think Monique was completely wrong. I definitely agree with you on that. Um, and there's so much to unpack behind that. But I just remember a scene. I feel like people come down on Candace. Um, part of it, I do feel like it's colorism. But also, people keep calling Candace a child. And I feel like it has to do with her relationship with her mother on the mm -hmm. show. We've shown that. And then also her size. Like, to be honest with you. And after Monique fought Candace... She made the comment, it's okay, I can fight a little, and I believe she said girl or something like that. She can. Mm -hmm. She said, I can fight a little person or a little girl like Candace. And so people always wonder why Monique didn't fight Robin when they had their altercation. And I literally think it's because she didn't think she could beat Robin. Like Robin is, you know. Mm -hmm. a little husky in in a way she has a husky <laughs> like right, no, you know, I, I don't saying. know the word to use <laughs> <laughs> but it looked like it might be a challenge basically you know it looked like robin will put up a fight whereas candace is a petite woman and so when monique made the comment you know i can fight a little girl like candace i was like okay so you fought her because you think you can beat her that's how mm. i that's how i put it Ooh, okay um yeah <laughs> well i mean running. i definitely respect that and yes I, I i try to see from both sides of the spectrum mm -hmm. you know monique should have never put it, her hands on candace completely like that's just you need yeah. to learn how to control yourself so whenever you get into an altercation you have to be very careful because that's definitely triggering and then also like i said monique should have either one of them should have just walked away from the situation I think Monique should have walked away. 
Because I feel like this. I feel like Candace was joking. If you go back and watch the clip, you can see Candace is making jokes about falling asleep and, oh, Monique, you're so boring. And so Monique is the one that was getting upset. Like Candace wasn't getting upset. So if Monique felt herself getting upset, she should have walked away because she is the one with the anger in the situation. I feel like Candace was joking and playing with her and Monique had the anger. So if you feel angry, I feel like it's on you to walk away. Right. That's but my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can agree to, I think we can definitely agree to disagree. I feel like that she, Candace has a mouth, she provokes people, she goes off, she pops off, and you can't do that and expect people not to do anything about it. That's my mindset on it. Like, you cannot, you can't do that. I you think know, you, you can. can. I think you can. Okay. I think you can. I think you can. That's my opinion. I think you can. I think you can say verbally what you're feeling, and in Candace's case, case she was making jokes i think it's okay if you're filming a reality tv show i think it's okay to throw shade and make jokes and not expect a physical result from that that's my opinion but i think you can okay i respect that all right you guys so thank you for joining us for our first reactions to the real housewives of potomac um reunion trailer thank you for joining us